Podcast. Alex, thanks. It's on the National Register of Historic Places and home to one of the most influential presidents of the 20th century. But without funding, the Reagan boyhood home in Dixon may have to close its doors to the public. 13 News reporter Richard Bodie has more. And the preservation of the sacred fire of liberty is finally staked on the experiment entrusted to the hands of the American people. For decades, the boyhood home of our 40th president has been entrusted to the hands of many people. But Patrick Gorman, the executive director of the Ronald Reagan Boyhood Home and Visitors Center in Dixon, says it may have to close its doors within... Probably a year, probably two, maybe at the very, very most. Gorman says between the gift shop and tours, the home generates about $30,000 in revenue a year. Yet the operating expenses are about $70,000 a year, creating a $40,000 annual loss. That's on top of some prior debt. In 2016, uh, we needed to do a lot of work around this house, and so we needed to go to the board, ask them to borrow $100,000 to uh, finish all of the restoration work that uh, had been let go. $70,000 of that loan still needs to be paid off. The foundation had plans to make more money back in 2012 when it bought four rental homes. The plan was for further expansion and that, uh, that plan has not come to fruition so the homes are currently on the market for sale. But he hopes this is not the end of the Reagan home in Dixon. I think it'd be a tragic loss for our community, uh, for the tourism industry, for the history world. Um, it just it just can't happen. It just cannot be allowed to happen. And visitors echo that sentiment. What are we losing if this place were to close? How do you put that into words? I came out balling, <laughs> and I just thought it was wonderful. I learned new facts, and um, it was just wo uh, wonderful information. But without help, visitors may have to prepare to hear this greeting. Welcome Hi. to the Ronald Reagan Boyhood Home. Come on in. For the last time. For your 13 Weather Authority, I'm Richard Bodie. The foundation in charge of the home is looking for any and all donations to help keep it open. It receives no state, local, or federal funds.